Hi everyone, in this video I'd like to show you the additional functionality to add file request uh, in SharePoint. If you haven't uh, seen how it is currently uh, possible in OneDrive, I'll link to the uh, video uh, here. Uh, but we have some settings that we need to set up before we can uh, activate it on the SharePoint side. So what we need to do is to go to the three dots and go to the admin center. In the admin center, we will go to the SharePoint administration area. So if I don't see it, I'll click show all. I'll choose SharePoint. And actually what we first need to do is the following. Uh, this link is actually explaining what are the things that uh, are needed first of all to enable any one link second of all is to configure view edit and upload for anyone and um, let's see how it looks in admin center so we're going back here we will go under policies to sharing and first of all for SharePoint and OneDrive we need to set that it's anyone if it will be on something else it will not work so this is the first thing second of all uh, we can see set here uh, the defaults this is not that important uh, what's important is that the folders will have a view edit and upload once we have this set then actually um, on the tenant level we have it but in addition we also need to do it on the site level by default it inherits it but some sites will not have it so i'll go under sites to active sites i'll choose uh, a site and if i mark this i will go to sharing and you will see that by default it's not for anyone so if we want it to be visible we need to add it to anyone uh, each organization should consider if they want to open anyone for uh, the SharePoint. It has its risks, but you can activate it for specific sites only. So actually we'll press save. And now if we go to the site, I can click here. Just a second. And actually if I go to a document library, I should see just like in OneDrive that that we will have if we create a folder and mark it so this is a folder so let's create a new folder and uh, call it uh, file upload we'll create it and we will mark it and on top we go to the three dots we will see request files here actually what we can do uh, is give a name, uh, contracts, and we can click next and actually this is the link. We can copy it and send it or we can send it to specific people. So let's just copy it and I will uh, go to a different tenant and actually paste this link and uh, the user actually will say a member of uh, lookup is requesting a file let's select it and we can upload uh, a file uh, the idea is actually that that anyone can upload but he doesn't see what the others have uploaded so these are the files if i'm not within the organization i will need to put my name if I'm in my organization it will automatically um, take my name if I do this it will actually upload it and we will see it actually here that is uploaded in the folder what it will do it will add the prefix of my first name last name to the file so um, this is actually the functionality just to show you that if if I want to deactivate it uh, even if on the tenant level it's set to anyone if on the site I actually say that my sharing is not 
anyone or click save, this functionality will not be possible. So let's refresh and actually uh, try uh, a different way actually to see the menus. I can right click and see uh, here all of the possibilities. You see the request file is not available because on the site level we did not uh, enable uh, sharing. Oops, request file is uh, still here. Let's just test again. It should not be the case. Let's refresh. Sometimes it takes time. And we see here it no longer appears. So um, the mandatory things are actually these things to enable any link, uh, both for SharePoint and uh, OneDrive. Uh, this uh, view, edit, and upload. And uh, you can see more information. So test it and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.